Down at Central Police Station in Kingston, Jamaica, Delroy Denton is well known. Two officers from the Jamaican Constabulary dug out his criminal file from their records department. I know him as a gunman. I know him as a hardened gunman. And he's very witty. Very, 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 very witty. He's what I will call a silent killer. He will creep upon you at any moment, kill you, and no one knows. When we told Sergeant Thompson that Scotland Yard had recruited Denton as an informer, he stressed the need for Denton's handlers to control him. It will be very, very important because, as I said before, um, he has a wide knowledge of what is going on, and, but he's a person you cannot take him too lightly. You will have to have somebody else keeping an eye on him. Good day, my wonderful people. It's me again, the great, great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, look at the screen in front of you. I know you saw the video clip, but this guy is in prison in England. He's a Jamaican by the name of Delroy. Then this dude was working for the police, Scotland Yard, in England. And he was working with them, informing on all the Jamaicans them that he did business with. And this guy was accused of raping a 15-year-old schoolgirl. He was jailed for life after that for raping and killing a 24-year-old young lady by the name of Marcia Laws. Because of this guy and Ethan Green and a, a lot of other more, but these two guys, him and Ethan Green, changed the way they dealt with Jamaicans. Because from, if you don't believe me, go and watch some of these documentaries and they will explain to you that the Jamaicans them is some of the worst. They've never dealt with these kind of gangsters where there is no loyalty. They they be tough on the street, and as soon as they get to the police, they start working for the police. But what's really shocking is that this happens a lot more in England, Europe, and Canada, even though Canada is a little bit more low-key with certain things. But England, they have a special program for these guys. They'll get a new name, a new identity. You see what I'm saying? And England, as you know, has been ruling the world for the last, don't quote me on this, a million years. So, England is not some, somewhere to play with, but listen, when it comes to intelligence on Jamaicans and Jamaican posses and stuff, England has the most intelligence because of guys like these. Now, I'm going to play the rest of the little clips so you can get a glimpse into who... Delroy Denton is. And as you can see, like they said, they were appalled over the discovery that the immigration was working with somebody like this. He was jailed 
for life in 1994. Countryman, like, share, subscribe. One of PC Barker's informants was Delroy Denton, known on the streets as Epsi. Denton arrived in this country illegally in 1993 and was recruited as an informant after being arrested in a raid on a Brixton pub. He worked for Scotland Yard for two years, providing information on other Jamaican criminals. But after two years, Denton was jailed for life for the murder of 24-year-old Marcia Laws. Denton's immigration file had been marked for dispatch to Fotheringham for a final round of inquiries, and it had disappeared. Denton was back on the streets of London. By April 1995, deportation was on no one's agenda. Denton was still reporting to Fotheringham's office and still working for Scotland Yard. And 24-year-old Marcia Laws, the mother of two small children, went missing. Now my people, want to see a little clip of how dangerous this guy was. Now, I don't know if he's still alive, but I'm going to do a little bit more digging. Because he went to prison in 1994. And this picture you see in front of you, this is his police record in Jamaica where you see at the front of the video, the police and say he's a dangerous guy. He's very crafty. He's a silent killer. And if anybody is going to work with them, they should be very careful. So, yeah. He deceived everybody around him. So, like I said, this is a warning. And it's, I wouldn't say it's a late warning because people still have to live and still have to do what they have to do. But be careful of the Jamaican hustler them in London, England and the UK. Countryman, remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll keep the fire burning. Peace out. And I want to thank all the subscribers then and thank all the people who supported me and who's not supporting me. You understand? Big respect. Peace out, countryman.